hi guys today I'm going to tell you how to uh, reset a root password on Solaris x86 box suppose if you forget the password how to reset the password so to reset the password you need a few things before resetting the password and th those are uh, like you need a s software CD that is I mean to say that Solaris 10 uh, software CD and then you need you need to boot from CD and you have to select single user mode so I'll show you how to do that and if you know uh, how to select single user mode after booting from CD that's well and good however I'll show you here how to boot from CD and select single user mode so here we go so at first I am going to boot the system so here I am getting a three option after booting it and the options that we have to select is the first option uh, that is called Solaris here so I am uh, going to select that one so it will do other things and give us a few options like and one up those options will be a single user mode and that I'm going to select it and here we are uh, we got uh, these options and the one that we have to select is number six so I'm going to do that uh, well here it will give you option uh, like where the Solaris operating system is installed on your system I mean to see that uh, which partition it is installed so here it says that DEV DSK C0 D0 S0 this is the partition where your Solaris operating system is installed so it's giving us options do you wish to have it mounted read write or on a yes or no you can select yes or no but uh, here I'm going to select no and I'm then going to ma mount it manually so here we are I have selected N and then uh, I told you I'm going to mount it manually so you know how to mount it and we have to use a mount command so here we are mount DEV DSK C0 D0 and S0 okay and then I'm going to do a high forward slash A uh, this is a uh, forward slash E is a temporarily mount point when you boot from a CD or jump start server uh, operating system will mount on uh, this partition so this is the temporary partition so I'm going to do that uh, all right so I as you can see that I did not get any kind of error message so it means a uh, command has executed uh, successfully after a uh, root partition is mounted I'm going to check uh, by typing CD and then a all right um, and one more thing that uh, I would like to say uh, before uh, going uh, before moving to a next command uh, I'll just wanted to check uh, whether I have mounted the correct thing so I'll going to do ls and in ls here you can see uh, we can see etc uh, it means we have mounted the correct uh, partition if you do not see uh, etc uh, you are not in the correct place so in this case I suggest you to mount in mount the correct partition so that you can find etc because uh, you know we have to uh, we have to uh, edit a shadow file where passwords are stored so in uh, Solaris and we have uh, in etc we have a shadow file where all the password encrypted password are stored 
in the previous version of the Solaris it was uh, stored in etc and passed wd file so now uh, from this the new version of the Solaris and uh, uh, in new versions like it's uh, etc and shadow file so what I am going to do it I am going to uh, vi the shadow file and then I am going to uh, remove the password from the side of file and then I am going to save it so uh, let's uh, do that for that cd a etc now I am in etc folder now I will uh, you can directly shadow it uh, you can directly vi uh, using the vi command but I move to etc folder nothing harm B I S H A D O W it's shadow. So now I um, you know I can see a law password and if you are familiar with a shadow of file structure of a shadow file then the first one is a username and that is root and the second column is for a password that is encrypted password it uses md5 so it will be a law 13 character alphanumeric number you can find it there and we have to uh, delete those numbers so that uh, we can uh, reset the password okay so if you worked in vi editor you know uh, what to do so i'm going to uh, well i'm pressing here l so that it will move the cursor where I want it to I mean to say that in password field ok so I am pressing L to move a cursor alright uh, now I am in password box password field so I am going to delete it so to delete it if you have to press uh, X so I am going to press it X and I am going to delete the whole 13 digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 all right now i have deleted the password now i'm going to save it so as you know uh, i may get a read only here uh, i can see the options i can see the option read only i can see the option read only so i cannot simply uh, do I can not simply write it so I have to override it so for that you have to press colon you have to press colon then W Q and then you have to press all right now it has been uh, overridden the file now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, res restart the system so I'm going to release command called init 6 so it is uh, now I got the correct prompt so what I do now I'll uh, select this default one and I'll go there and let's see what will happen whether it is going to ask it is in a boot process now it is putting now I'll be getting the console login in next few seconds so here I am I'll be getting this option uh, okay so now only I have to type is the username and that is a root I don't even have to give a password it's not going to ask for password because I have removed the password field from the root user so I'm going to do that I typed root I pressed enter and it is going to boot without asking for password but if you are in production environment I uh, suggest you to off once you reboot the system the first thing that you have to do is 
to change the password so I am going to change the password first alright so check it ok CD sorry I did not uh, here we are here you can see that in password field you cannot find any uh, password it's simply blank so I'm going to reset the password so the for that I'm going to release the command pass wd on root it is, uh, it is going to ask me a new password that I'm going to give it it is going to ask again and here we are we got the message that password successfully changed for root so guys that's it you have to do this only these things so that's all from my side guys thank you for watching this video and i hope this is going to help you guys thank you